What's up, Saiyan Army? Welcome to the video. So right now we're at Valley of the Temple. Basically, it's like a memorial slash temple. And yeah, we're gonna get some shots for the Saiyan Aesthetics line. Got a lot of things we're working on behind the scenes that we can't wait to show you guys. So enjoy the video. Just got home first meal of the day we got poke so i love poke i grew up eating this stuff since i was really young so this is a secret spicy poke and this is the oyster sauce poke both really delicious another one that i like is a spicy mayo but obviously because it has mayonnaise it's not so macro friendly but yeah poke has been catching on around the world it's crazy how much places now serve poke and how you know it's good poke is it melts in your mouth, not in your hand. But anyways, it has like this nice firm texture to the outside, but then when you throw it back, it just melts in your mouth. You don't want that stringy poke. Stringy poke sucks. So if you taste all those, those fibers and strings, that means you have bad poke. But if it just melts in your mouth, it's good stuff. So this is probably like one of the only ways I can eat protein like just straight up by itself. You know, outside of things like beef jerky and whatnot. But yeah, I'm starving, so let's eat. Also, eating the poke with Spamus B, another staple Hawaii food. If you guys want to learn how to make Spamus B, Chi Chi and I actually made a tutorial video like two years ago, maybe three years ago. A really long time ago. So I'll link that down below, but go check it out. I have no idea what the quality was like back then, but that was back in the OG days. All right, so it's now 12 o'clock, been pretty much working all day and it's time to work out. Now, this is typically around the time that I usually been working out just because my circadian rhythm has been thrown off and just as I'll talk about in the voiceover, just things haven't been going the greatest, but it's okay. We're gonna kill this workout regardless. So anyway, snacking on these chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels from Trader Joe's. These are the best salty, sweet, and peanut buttery doesn't get any better than that and there's no Trader Joe's here in Hawaii so that's very sad but anyways yeah comment down below your favorite Trader Joe's snacks also gonna take my pre-workout got gonna take a scoop of oxy shred scoop of PSI and some BCA's for those of you guys who have been asking about the Goku stack it is coming I know I keep saying that and I'm sorry you guys have to wait but it is coming also, I've been recording videos for HP Labs, a lot of tutorials and a lot of great informative videos for you guys. So I'll link that down below. Go ahead and check it out and subscribe to the HP Lab channel. Anyways, let's go ahead and kill this workout. So what you're seeing on the screen now is a leg workout that I just finished. Just jumped in the shower and it's now 2 a.m. as I'm recording this now. So before we get into that, Let's talk about the title of this video and that is taking a break from training. Now a lot of you guys have been asking me why I haven't been uploading as many training videos as I normally do. And the reason being is because I've been going through some injuries and one of them is my shoulder impingement. That's probably the worst one. Um, I've dealt with shoulder impingement before but not this bad where like especially after days that I kind of irritate it which is like the incline bench days or spirit bomb days the next day it'd be like super sore just to lift my arm up and stuff and yeah this is the worst it's ever been and I know that's not what you guys want to hear you guys want to hear you know I'm ascending at fighting I'm ascending in the gym I'm ascending at in all places of life but that's just not how life goes you know right now you know training fighting is going awesome uh, but training in the gym has been sucking so for the past two weeks, I've been cutting my volume in half. Um, I haven't been incline benching at all or doing any spirit bombs. Anything overhead, just been staying away from it just because it's been irritating it. And it's funny how like, and before I used to just be able to work through it, but this time I'm just cut cutting it out completely and I'm noticing it's getting better a lot faster. And I'll go in more into depth. I know some of you guys also are dealing with shoulder impingement and whatnot, or shoulder type issues. And I'll go more into depth in another video about what I'm doing, maybe like a push workout type video. And on top of that, I'm dealing with the sprained hand, which is 100% my fault. I sprained it, you know, 
training, actually during the first week of training for Muay Thai. And every single week, I kind of tend to re-sprain it. And I also hit bag. And I've also been hitting the bag at our house a couple days a week as well for cardio and just to practice. And sometimes I get a little carried away. And then, yeah, it's just slowly but surely healing. Thank God it doesn't mess up with a lot of my lips. Only certain things, which isn't a big deal. And just some small knee issues, um, which might stem from Muay Thai. I'm not exactly sure. That's why in this video I'm doing light bulger and split squash just because my knees have been feeling slightly funky. So like right now, like training just been in a funk. And yeah, it sucks having to tell you guys this. You guys want to hear that I'm going Super Saiyan God and everything. But right now we're in the recovery room and we are going to come back even stronger just like we always do. So this is only part of my leg workout. My camera actually ended up dying. So we did Bulgarian split squats, light sets of 10. Next we did some hip thrusts, followed that with Romanian deadlifts. And the last exercise that I want to talk to you guys about is these leg extensions. So for a while now, I haven't been doing leg extensions just because I've been primarily training at home. And that's something that I really like because leg extensions hit, you know, the upper part of your quads that not a lot of exercises can target and even isolate. But I found an exercise that's even better than leg extensions and that is with the kettlebell. Now at first I thought it put like some weird strain on my knee, but because you're able to control how far you lean back and you know where what angle your knee is at at all times there is actually zero pressure on your knee it actually feels like less pressure than even the leg extension machine because it locks you in place so give this a try guys grab a bench grab a seat on it put the kettlebell like kind of like attach it on your shoe then lift your leg up contract your abs you're gonna get a nice ab pump while you're doing this as well and just contract it all the way to the top and do everything slow and controlled hold the contraction at the top you're gonna feel a crazy contraction go up all the way up to your groin it's by far my favorite quad accessory movement right now and probably for a while even if i'm at the gym and i have the choice between doing this and a leg extension machine i am doing the kettlebell unless the gym has zero kettlebells so give that a try guys so as far as me and my training, I think I'm going to take this week off as well. Not completely off. To be honest, I haven't skipped any workouts, even when I've been just kind of like taking a break from training. I've just been cutting my volume down and staying away from things that irritate my shoulder. So it's kind of like an extended deload. So we're planning on taking the rest of this week easy. And then going into next week, we're going to start killing it again just because everything's been feeling really, really good. I feel refreshed, ready to go again. I'm ready to ascend again. And also we got New York Comic Con coming up in three weeks. So I'm planning to do something like I did last year for New York Comic Con where I did the seven day shred or I can do a 14 day shred. So comment down below what you guys would rather see, if you guys would rather see like a 14 day thing or a seven day. A seven day I might be able to do like daily uploads like I did last year as well, just leading up into New York Comic Con. But super excited for that. Super excited to see like Piccolo, Black Broly and just the whole crew and just have a great time and also putting together the new costume. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. My chef, strength and honor. Aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!